Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today we're doing a Vega 56 showdown against a GTX 1070 and as you can see these are both lower designs. Keep it nice and fair. So let's jump right into it then and compare these two GPUs. So over on the Vega 56 you get the 14 nanometer Vega 10 GPU with 3584 stream processors that's down from the 4096 you get on the Vega 64 and over on the 1070 you get the 16 nanometer GP104 Pascal GPU with 1920 CUDA cores which is down from the 2560 you get over on the GTX 1080. Now clock speed wise, the highest speed I saw out of the 1070 was 1898 MHz, so very solid there. The Vega 56 went up to 1495 MHz, so a little bit down, but that is still a pretty good clock speed. Now TDP wise, getting a 210 watt TDP over on the Vega 56 and a 150 watt TDP over on the 1070. And memory wise, you get 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory at 800 megahertz over on the Vega 56, as opposed to the 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory on the 1070 at 8000 megahertz. So, if that's a little bit confusing, uh, I don't really know how to explain this in a very simple way. Uh, HBM, it's just a different type of memory, uh, it's a much newer type of memory. Uh, you would say it's very it's as far it's superior to GDDR5 memory which has been around for quite a while now so in the memory department I would say the Vega 56 definitely has the advantage over the GTX 1070 so let's talk about the coolers quickly so as I said in the unboxing videos uh, the Vega 56 here has the newer reference design from AMD. It's sort of like a giant version of what we saw on the RX 480. It's a nice bigger fan there, bigger vapor chambers, all that good stuff. And this actually worked quite nicely, but with all reference models, they do get a little bit loud and they are going to run hotter than their non-reference counterparts. The Turbo 1070 here is the closest thing I can get to a Founders Edition. And by close, it is very close. So just completely disregard the Turbo in the name. This runs at the exact same speeds as a Founders 1070. And if anything, this cooler is worse than the one you get on the Founders 1070. So no, this isn't, you know, a really hotted up 1070. This is the same, if not inferior, to a Founders 1070. Because I just simply cannot get it, and I wanted to make this showdown as close as I could in terms of the models to each other. So that being said, let's jump into the benchmark then. So my benchmarking, I did it with my Threadripper, a rig, uh, although I switched everything into game mode to really, you know, let these CPUs go as, uh, GPUs go as hard as they possibly can. So let's jump into it and see how the two of them perform.
So what do we make of the benchmarks then? Well, it looks like for the most part, the Vega 56 comes out on top. So yeah, I was pretty impressed by it. Uh, going through the benchmarks, I really didn't know which one of these GPUs would come out on top. The 1070 still did win a few of them. It still did a good job too. Um, but the Vega 56 definitely won more and it also seemed to do a lot better as we went up through the resolutions. And I think with these GPUs, most people will be running, there's certainly gonna be people that are running 1080p displays, especially high refresh rate ones. But there will also be a lot of people running 1440p displays and of course 4K displays. And in which case the Vega 56 seemed to do a lot better as we went up through the resolution. So in terms of the benchmarks, have to give it to the Vega 56, a good solid win there. However, benchmarks are not everything. What about the temperatures? So of course these are the reference designs, uh, you know, blower style coolers. So temps are never going to be that good compared to the better sort of open air coolers you can get. Uh, so for this one, I tested them in Unigen Valley on the Extreme HD preset and recorded the highest temperature they went up to. And we see here that the Vega 56 actually was less than the 1070. I was astounded when I ran the test. So yeah, the Vega 56 coming out on top was also at a lower fan speed, bizarrely. So, I, I, I have to say, it must be because this cooler itself is quite good. The reference design, much better than what we saw way back with the R9 290 and 290X, that's for sure. This is a big upgrade over those. It could also be the fact that this Turbo 1070 is quite a budget cooler on this guy. As I said, I would consider it inferior to the Founders Edition cooler. So that would also be a factor there. But yeah, in terms of temps, surprisingly, the Vega 56 wins, even though it has that higher TDP. So let's talk about noise. So I recorded the noise when I was running that Unigen Valley test. So I'll show you what the Vega 56 sounds like first, and then we'll listen to the 1070 afterwards. So there you have it. After using these cards myself, I would have to say it's it's very similar. It's kind of hard to, to pick, which is funny because you would expect the Turbo 1070 to be the louder card because uh, it runs at a higher fan speed by default. But it actually doesn't really put out that much more noise. Uh, between them, I can't really say which one would be the louder one. It's actually hard for me to tell a difference between them, but I would say that both of them get moderately loud when you're gaming with them. It's nothing that headphones can't drown out or a good speaker system, but they, they do ramp up you know, a decent amount there. So that is something to be aware of with both of these graphics cards. Which brings us now to the conclusion. So which one of these GPUs do I recommend to you guys? Well, the GTX 1070 did a good job. Uh, it won in some of the benchmarks, and it's still a very solid GPU. It'll also use less power than the Vega 56. That is another thing you need to factor in there. However, I have to hand it to the Vega 56. To me, it just seems like the better buy. Now, I had a look around at pricing, and generally you might need to spend a little bit more on the Vega 56 than the Turbo 1070, but for that, I think you're getting a superior graphics card. I think the lifespan of this card will also be longer. And it should do better and better as newer games come out as well. So this is the card I would recommend if I had to pick out of these two. However, if we opened it up to all models of the GTX 1070 and Vega 56, I would tell you to be patient. The, just, just wait for non-reference Vega 56 cards to come out. Because although the non-reference models of the 1070 are also much better than this Turbo 1070, which I know, you know, this is a non-reference model as well, but you guys know what I mean. A proper open-air design, like a Strix 1070 or something like that. I would say wait for those versions of the Vega 56, because the, the Vega 56 has a lot more to gain from, you know, having a non-reference model out there. Uh, so yeah, this is the card I would recommend, 
but that is just my opinion. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below. I want this to be a discussion. So let me know, do, would you pick the Vega 56 or would you pick the GTX 1070? Not only that, but which model would you pick? I know the Vega 56, you know, non-reference ones uh, are only just trickling out right now or we're just seeing pictures of them and things like that. But uh, from what you've seen so far, which one would you pick? I'd just like to know. And if you disagree with me, that's, that's great. I'd like to know your reasoning of why you would pick the uh, GTX 1070 over the Vega 56. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you want to support the channel because I, I really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos, but you don't, you know, maybe not feel like subscribing. But uh, I would suggest you do that because it, it shows your support when I see the sub numbers going up, especially after I put out a good video or one I feel it's a good video. It really it gives me that motivation to just keep cranking out these great videos for you guys. So I, I'd really hope you do that. I thank you all for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.